Hello and welcome back. So now we are going to start our project. Okay, so first of all, if you want to start a React Native project with Expo, so I'm going to show you. So just say here, you say just type on um, create um, uh, Expo app, just like that. So Expo app. And it's going to show you from the documentation how you are going to do it. So what you got to do here is npx create Expo app. Okay, if that doesn't work, so that means you need to have um, Node. So if you don't have Node, just type download Node.js. Okay, and then you can download it directly from here and then you'll be good to go. And uh, if you don't have an ID, I recommend having uh, Visual Studio. So if you don't have that, you just type on uh, download VS Code. And then you can download that here. Okay, because that's, that's what I'm going to use. If you want to use something else, you can use it. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. So right here. I'm gonna do uh, npx create expo app and then the name of the app. All right, so I have a folder where I put all of the project uh, for Udemy. So right here, you can see it right here. Um, I already got those two courses on Udemy. You can check them out if you want to. Or uh, right here, I'm gonna do. So I'm holding Shift and I do right click. I open the PowerShell in this terminal. I mean in this uh, location. And right here, I would do this thing uh, right here. Okay, so I would do here npx create expo iPhone app. And now the name of the app is going to be Shape Up. Okay, so here I would type Shape Up uh, Udemy. I think I'll put an underscore right here. So just way it's going to be different. So I'll press enter and then I'll wait for it to be over. All right, so it looks like it's over. Yes, it's over. So what I'm going to do now is that I will just CD into that folder. So the name of the folder is Shape Up. So I can CD into that folder, and then I'll open it. Um, I'll open a project directly into VS Code by doing code space and dot. So that way, it's going to open the project straight into VS Code. So here it is. So the project is right here. And uh, yeah, I don't need this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna close this. And now open the terminal, okay? Or you can just type here in new terminal. And right here, I'll do npx expo start. All right, perfect. So it started, it's launched. And uh, you can see this, um, this QR code over here. If you have the Expo Go application in your mobile phone, you can just scan this code through the Expo Go app, and then it's gonna launch the app uh, straight into your phone. All right, if you don't know how to get it, just go into the Play Store or App Store, and then just type Expo Go. So I'm just gonna show you. So here I'll do Expo Go, Google Play. And then it shows like this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, this is the this is the Expo website. Now, if let's say if I want to go into, yeah, this is what it's gonna look, look like. Okay, just go here and download it. All right. And if you're using App Store, just use App Store. Okay. So I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. So mine's gonna be for the Google Play. So I can just close this one. Down, make sure you download it in your phone or get an emulator and run it straight into your computer but do that only if you have enough RAM more than 8 gigabytes so here I'll press A to launch it in my emulator so right here all we gotta do is wait a little bit alright so the app is launched and as you can see here, we got open app. If you're wondering where this is coming from, just go to your app.js right here. And you can see it over, let me just uh, put this thing right back here. All right, so here it's open up app.json, I mean app.js. So let me just say, for example, that I delete this and I press Control S. What happens? The changes occur right away, okay? so. Yeah, this is going to be it for this video and in the next video we are going to start uh, installing things to be able to style the application. So I'll see you in the next video.